but all right. Let's keep going. There's probably going to be more guys around to shoot. More manufactured gear. Same. Yeah, more spacers. Oh, grenade. No. Take a med pack. Stand up, you. Got you. So you're somewhat threatening. Okay, there's one more tucked way back there. They're wandering around out of sight. do I have? Three more pounds. Not much. Alright. I guess let's just keep going forward. Gravity here is crazy. Okay, this must be where that last guy went. And logically, there's probably still going to be more guys. In. Sure. Oh. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Mind if I get into some cover before you notice me? I'd miss me. Grab that. 
Ooh, a safe. Master level safe. Let's see if this one is empty like that other master level safe we had. <laughs> okay, that one's not used on any. That's used on the second. You can be used anywhere. So there. Then would this one work for these? It would. Okay. So you could go there. But I have another good option for here. So you would get all of those and then was it you? Get those? Okay. Forgot which one I was looking at earlier. <laughs> this one? Okay. Now we're down to here. We need one that's straight across like that one. All right. And then which one's you? There. And you. Okay, what do we have? Okay. Maelstrom. Weighs a ton. Good capacity. Really heavy, though. So I can't really hold on to it. Anything else I care about? Bunch of food. Lots of food. Seems like not. Ah, there you are. That is a lot of value for mass. What makes you so impressive compared to other shotguns? Plus 30% damage while in space and minus 15% while on a planet. That's not going to be great. 25% increase in attack speed. I do want it. but I'm gonna have to deal with the weight issue. There you are. There. Because now I'm encumbered again. So let's drop you. Still need to drop four more pounds. Sure, that pair puts me barely into a good weight range. So we're needing to get over there to kill the boss because ultimately that's our goal of this mission is to kill the boss and the rest will decide to leave. Though I might just empty out this whole facility anyway. Whoa. No. Was not expecting sudden unexpected leeches. expect this to just end. <laughs> okay. Big open area there. How do I get down to there? No, seriously.
Obviously not through there. Is there another path that I'm missing? Down here? No. Down here. Okay. What are you? A free hematite. All right, sure. Oh yeah, I don't have any inventory space. I shouldn't be picking up stuff. <laughs> Unless the mission tells me to come back and grab some of it. Alright. I never liked them anyway. Harsh. Right, let me... Okay. Bunch of guys over there, but the boss is here. Okay. The boss down. Theoretically, the rest will all decide to leave. Oh, I desperately need to heal, because I am slowly dying. There we go. Seems like whatever was dropping my health has stopped. Another med pack. Okay. So we still have a bunch of guys over there. Which it looks like I will, in fact, have to fight my way out through, which is fine. Let's get into a bit of cover. you. got the sample I needed. Ooh. What are you? Beam pistol. Low range. Does more damage the less armor one has. Ugh. I'm mainly focused on that 6,000 value per weight or per mass. Total value of 9,000. That makes me encumbered. not super amazing. Nuclear fuel rod? Sure, I'll just grab one of those and carry it on me. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Okay. So this... Where I put it. That's here. Okay. Definitely grab the med pack and another master safe. Okay. Let's go to some of these large number picks and see where they can get used. So you and you can be used in multiple spots. If I want to use you here, then I need another one for there, which would be that. So we'll try that. 
Then for this ring, uh, what do we have? You. And then a single. Okay. There, and then another one of these singles. And lastly, where do you fit? There. That and this? Yes, looks like. Another 5,000 value per mass. Excellent. Uh, short barrel, reflex sight, compensator, armor piercing rounds. Probably not something I would be interested in using, but I will take it because it's valuable. Ooh, lots of aluminum and silver. No. <laughs> Alright. All set? Got your research. You can take the elevator in that room back to the surface. There should be a key stashed in the thresh room if the spacers didn't make off with it. I'll be waiting at the circle. Okay. Play exit. So now I can use the elevator. Think I need to still do something down there? So I thought I'd done everything down here. Return the data to Cambridge. Yeah, that involves being on the surface. <laughs> I'm confused. But it's like, no, you definitely need to go back down into the mine to return to Cambridge. All right, so let's go to wherever my ship is at. Carrying too much, so I can't fast travel. Of course not. So back out. How much am I overloaded? Uh, eight pounds. There's something reasonable that I can drop that I wouldn't care about. This wrench. I'm <laughs> not sure when I picked that up. I think I need to just sell all those antique stuff. That's just weight that I'm holding on to. Let's see. Sure. Drop that. Oh, was that what I was wearing? That's what I was wearing. Uh, let's put that back on before I suddenly very quickly die. <laughs> okay, that's the one I was wearing. Um, because I didn't want to drop either of those because those are, again, the faction specific stuff. I guess Mantis isn't a faction, but still. Okay. Maybe just drop the shoddy. Well, I can drop you, and you weigh five pounds. Two more pounds somewhere. I guess let's drop some of this stuff. None of it's overly valuable. There. I don't even know what's up with my health bar. You saw it down here, the orange with the gray bit in the middle. That's not what it's supposed to look like. I think I broke something. All right, so if we go back to my ship, then I can store some of this stuff in my ship's inventory. Get up. Ship's 
Jacob's inventory is here. So if we go to transfer, uh, not the ships, my inventory, uh, resources, put all the resources into the ship, so they weigh a ton. Cool. I'm now a lot less encumbered. And we'll put the faction stuff. There. Good enough for me. Hello. And then the way down was down through here. Oh! I have people on my ship. Which means I can talk to one of them and get them to follow me. Again, I don't know why Vasco, the robot, isn't following me because I was sure I had set that up. Let's see if he's around anywhere. And if not, then I'll choose someone else. Because yeah, we've got uh, hello. Andrea here. So she could follow me. Nope, don't, don't fall. Don't fall. Uh. Come on. Why is there a giant hole in the middle of my ship? <laughs> I mean, obviously. Uh, you, I don't care about. There's Sarah. Yep, Vasco's just nowhere to be found. Okay. Uh, sure then, Sarah Morgan. Can I help? Yes. Um, are we to head back out? Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. Vasco is no longer following you. Well, Vasco wasn't following me. That's the problem. <laughs> While we're here, we should definitely stop the supplies at the exchange. Captain Orion. There you are. Pleasant to see you. Okay. I think this is our way in. have things for me here I have something for you I wish it told me what they gave me I mean obviously I'm gonna be like thanks you're welcome but it'd feel more if I knew I what I'd gotten one of our latest planetary expeditions I'm more than just an extra gun you know uh <laughs> next time I expect this to be gift wrapped no well I appreciate the effort I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. It's been a while. Check back with me from time to time after we return from our planetary jaunts. If I pick anything up, it's all yours. Okay. Ah, amino acids from a root were added. Cool. You look hurt. Might want to head on Ah, and it looks like my health fixed itself. I mean, I'm still hurt, but... It's hard not to work. My health is no longer broken. Crimes at an all-time low around Sedona. All right. You've got the slate. Let me see. Of course. Reduce joint wear. Oh, increase lifting capacity. A dose of this stuff can make a binder way more efficient. This formula's got to be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. Okay. So here's what you do. Tell Octai and the Trade Authority you found a business proposal that will make miners more efficient, higher yield, synergy, you know, all that business crap. <laughs> You'll trade it to him for clearing Percival's debt. You good at doing pitches and stuff like that? Of course. I can give it a whirl, sure. Why, I could sell ice to a cold guy. Okay, it's not my forte. 
You don't want me to ask for money? You can try if you feel confident, but I didn't want to push our luck. Besides, if that drug gets big, I think everyone benefits. So, you think you can sell them on it? I can give it a whirl, sure. Aw, oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, and here, a copy of the formula for yourself, in case you ever want to try maximizing your own industrial output. Oh, use that if you can. Good luck. Okay. And you. Yeah. Uh, I hacked the Trade Authority terminal. I'll take those credits now. Not something you want to say too loud now, but <laughs> good work. Here, go dig our man out of his pit. Okay. So let's see what we can do since we've done both sides of the mission. I'm hoping I can pay off the debt for 500 and then convince him to pay me a fortune for this drug research. All right. Was there something else? Uh, I want to... How much Percival owe you? Have you checked? I don't recall the exact figure oh, off same. the top of my head. If you're feeling charitable. Okay. I want to pay off his debt. Do you now? Very well. Let me take a look at his... Hmm, that's not the number I remember. Headquarters must have felt sorry for the old man. Here, his current balance. I expect this won't be a great hardship for you. Of course not. Here's the 500 credits. Hmm, then I suppose that's that then. Dr. Walker's debt is officially no longer a problem. You have my thanks. Oh, and if you do find him, please let Percival know I'm eagerly looking forward to never working with him again. Ha, <laughs> ha. If you do find Dr. Walker, please tell him I'm looking forward to never seeing his face again. I can't. I think we'll need to be. Okay. They're not allowing me to try and sell that. Uh. The drug. Thank you for your cooperation. Which is a strange choice, but it's fine. So possibly I should have tried selling the drug instead. Yeah. Yeah. I took care of Percival's debt to the trade authority. It's done, eh? Fine work. My end of the bargain then, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devils HQ. Place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit, but we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. Was also going to warn you about spaces down there, but it sounds like you might have already tossed those drakes. Yeah, the passkey. And I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down. The Red Devils aren't exactly your average bar crowd. You can see it in their eyes. We don't belong here. So... Are they trying to say it's the same spacer crew? Which means... They kicked him out of where he was doing his research. And then he just went back and hid in there, somehow avoiding all the spacers? Because that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If I don't have to fight spacers to get to him, that's good, I suppose, but I don't understand what he means by I've already dealt with all the spacers there. Because Percival wasn't there. It does seem to be going in the same direction, though. Yeah. Deep Mines employee exit has been explored. But that's where Percival's at. I don't know. Maybe the elevator will suddenly go to a different location? You should sell stuff. Why would I sell stuff? It's madness. have a lot more 
space now that I put a bunch in my ship. Alright, so Percival is apparently over there somewhere, somehow. Let's grab all of that. Let's see if we can figure out how to get to him. Okay. So he was hiding out in here and there was just a locked door stopping me from getting to him, apparently. Maybe? How far away are you? Seven meters. Uh, okay. So just right through this door. No, that's just telling me the distance to the wall, not to my quest. Okay. So I'm going basically back to the front entrance. Wait. How do I go? There we go. You're here. Seriously, where are you, Percival? <laughs> okay. Have I been in this building, whatever it is? just to do me a favor. I did not. Now you want to explain to me why you're going around harassing nefarious old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? <laughs> Dr. Walker, I've got a tissue sample I need analyzed. Full workup. I'm here to make a delivery from an old colleague of yours, Adrian Sanan. Or do you know how long it took me to find you? Take this sample. <laughs> yeah, delivery from an old colleague of yours, Adrian Sanan. Adrian sent you. She's did she look okay? Uh, she's alive, but was injured trying to collect this delivery I've got for you. If you consider getting gorged by a Terramorph and living as okay, then yeah. <laughs> a Terramorph? She's fortunate to be alive at all. Hope you two had plenty of backup. So what's this she had you bring all the way down here after putting you in harm's way? Terramorph cells from a world too young to have one. How Gourmet's own free-range, 100% human-fed Terramorph cells. Oh, that's super morbid. Terramorph cells from a world too young to have one. Adrian said that, huh? If she made you come all the way for this... Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. Alright. Are you gonna go in? No? Please? There we go. Uh, no. I'm gonna ask you to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here. I wasn't expecting guests. I mean, you can ask me not to touch stuff. But I'm still gonna do it. Oh, he's still talking. Fine. Mr. Dialogue. All queued up. Let's gaze into this abyss, shall we? All right. Just get those cellular markers tagged. Wait. Where are the markers? This. 
This can't be right. This sample, it's Londinian. I'll... I'll need to get this all in the slate. Adrian really gave you this sample. You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Uh, sample's not a fake. I collected it from the Terramorph myself. Something's wrong with it. Talk to Hadrian. I'm just the messenger. So Hadrian wasn't mistaken. This, that sample's a concern. Uh, yeah, sample's not fake. I collected it from the Terramorph myself. Can't just humor an old man, huh? This sample. It's got all the indicators of the worst Terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. I did. Adrian mentioned it. Sounds like quite the tragedy. Doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, sounds like quite the tragedy. It was. An entire city wiped off the map. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talzetti. This specimen, it grew there, faster than any Terramorph should. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not going to end well for humanity. It would be the end of us as a species. So you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? Uh, order to take you and that analysis to Hadrian. She should be waiting at the sixth circle. Get your boots on. We're going to stop any more attacks before they start. We're leaving trying to slow me down. The use of the Londinian attack was massive, right? Why one odd Terramorph? Why is it one odd Terramorph so scary? Because until now, the Terramorphs that wiped out Londinian had the good sense to stay put. What happened there? It was a tragedy, but at least it was contained. So to find evidence for a similar attack on a different world, well, we don't have enough information to know precisely what this means. But I doubt it's good. So I'd love to know what it is you're planning from here. Uh, yeah. Order to take you and the analysis to Hadrian. The circle, huh? Could use a drink about now. Here, faster we take the lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. Okay. I've got a new follower. And is there anything else that I can loot? Since it sounds like the things you've got going on will no longer be going on as you're coming with me. You really don't have anything lootable. Huh. I suppose that's fine. Oh. Ship missiles permanently deal 5% more damage. Yes, please. It's nice to find those rare upgrades. They just give permanent boosts. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing around here. Okay. Well, it looks like we're heading up this way. To another lift that wouldn't have worked. Uh, hi. Without his key card. Make sure you don't come in the back way. So I'm now expecting that this whole storyline is going to revolve around Terramorphs, and either it's going to end with us trying to take back Londinium, which would be cool, or it's going to involve a swarm of Terramorphs attacking a colony and me having to fight for the defense of that colony or something. But I'm expecting either way that this storyline is going to end up with a massive all-out assault on a bunch of Terramorphs, which I'm okay with. Seems like it'll be fun. Actually, do I want to just teleport to my ship? Because it is really far away. I guess we're not going to my ship, but same difference. 